The philosopher Confucius once said, it does not matter how slow you go, as long as you don't stop. I know that you and I, we want to get fluent quickly. The truth is, you're not learning slowly if you're studying consistently. So if you have a lack of motivation, if you are getting inconsistent in your studying practices, in this video, I'm going to give you exactly what you need to fix that and become fluent in English. Stay until the end of the video, I'm going to give you a bunch of free materials, my favorite being the study plan that I use. So going over the input and output methods, we'll talk about input methods first. One obvious one for beginners is beginner stories. If you're looking for quality beginner stories, check out thefablecottage.com. This is my favorite site to go to when I'm still in the A1, A2 stages of learning a language. They have a bunch of common child stories such as Jack and the Beanstalk, Snow White, Chicken Little, and a bunch more. Check the link in the description, it will be there for you. Next is music. Music is one of the best ways to learn vocabulary. Personally, I've learned thousands of words in Spanish, French, Indonesian, and Chinese just by listening to music. If you're at the A1 or A2 level, you might want to listen to some simpler music like Louis Armstrong and Woody Guthrie. However, if you have a B1, B2 level, you might want to listen to something a bit more advanced, such as Journey or Green Day. In the description, I'll leave you two playlists that I just got done making for you. The one will be for A1 and A2 music, which will be a bit slower and use less complex vocabulary. And the second will be for B1 and B2 learners, and it will have music in it that is a little bit more complex, let's say. Check those links in the description. They'll be there for you. Another way that we can advance in a language pretty quickly is through flashcards. The only problem with flashcards is if you do not use the vocabulary that you learn, you'll quickly forget it. So basically the best thing that you can do is create your own flashcard decks based on the content you listen to. Personally, I do this a lot with music. I will take words I don't know out of a song and study them. However, if you don't really want to do that, in the description, I have a buy me a coffee link where you can go and sign up and become a member and I'll give you the flashcards that I make for you for every one of these videos. That way, you'll be able to study 20 to 30 words per video, come back, watch the video again, and hear those words in context. If you're interested, that link will be in the description for you. The next one is phrase books. Personally, this helped me a lot in both Spanish and French. Basically, these little booklets will just lay out all of the most basic phrases that you and I have to know going into a conversation in our target language. If you're at the A1, A2, or even B1 level, go in the description and check out the phrase book that I just made for you and it's 100% free. That's my gift to you. And for those who have a B2 level, you also can get phrase books like this one that I got in Spanish, which is called What They Didn't Teach You in Spanish Class. And it has, um, well, a lot of things that you wouldn't normally think to learn. Moving on, comprehensible input. What you are doing right now is probably the most important thing when it comes to language learning. English comprehensible input videos help you gain a better accent, a better ability to comprehend the language, and a bigger vocabulary. This channel here is mostly for people with an A2, B1, and B2 level in English. 
However, if you feel that this channel is too advanced for you, in the description, I'll put another channel that I highly recommend for beginners. Now our beloved apps. There are a few really good language learning apps. The problem is a lot of people are tricked or they're taught to think that you can use a language learning app to become fluent. But I know that you know that that's not the truth. We must use a variety of materials because any one material is not going to get us fluent. However, here are the best apps that I would love for you to try. My top recommendations. Number one, of course, Duolingo. Yeah, I used to hate it a lot more than I do today. I understand that it has its uses and for a lot of people, it's helped them to advance in a language. That's really all I gotta say about Duolingo. Busu is like the more serious learners Duolingo. It really does a good job at explaining things. It gives you practice expressing yourself inside of a community. Sometimes you'll record your voice for an answer or you'll write the answer in your target language. And they have long passages that they will go over with you and you'll study them until you understand them. So Busu, that is my favorite currently. And there's also LingoPie. Now, if you have a B1, B2 level or above, LingoPie is pretty awesome. Basically, it's an extension to Netflix and it helps us be able to see our target language and our native language at the same time by giving us subtitles with both. We also are able to click on any phrase or word that we don't understand and it will give us a definition. And if that wasn't cool enough, we can click on those words and it will be added to a list of our vocabulary, which we can study later. Again, I'm in love with it. I just bought my yearly membership. I'm gonna keep using it. I do suggest it and if you want to try it you can get a seven day free trial in the description if you don't like it you don't pay a cent now if you do have that b1 b2 or c1 level books are so important personally i read a chapter every day in spanish and i have a c1 level and i'm still learning vocabulary every day books are incredible and they help us in just about every way imaginable once we're able to reach that point in the process. Now, if you have an A1, A2 level, it will be a bit difficult to find good materials that interest you that you can understand. Personally, when I had a A2 level in Spanish, I bought a anime book in Spanish for like kids. It was really for kids, but it was interesting enough to get me reading the whole thing. The important part is that you get something that you can enjoy and read in the target language. Something that expands your vocabulary without you really having to study. Now for output methods. Journaling is absolutely my favorite. I literally have like seven or eight journals that are just full of me practicing Spanish and French and a little bit of Chinese. Now, between me and you, we know that English has some crazy words that are just spelled so weird. So journaling is a very useful way that we can learn how to spell words in the English language. Plus, along the way, you'll acquire vocabulary too. I suggest that you start by journaling with Google Translate, helping you translate your journal entries. But later on, you'll certainly be able to write the journal entry without Google's help. The next output method is getting a HelloTalk partner. If you have a B1 or a B2 level in English, it's time that you get a language partner. This can be somebody that you meet on HelloTalk and chat with, maybe have a call once a week, or you can contract a tutor on italki.
whatever is more comfortable for you. The important part is that you get the opportunity to speak in English. And for introverted people, there is a little trick. It's called jump speak. Now, my brother came up to me yesterday and said, dude, have you ever heard of jump speak? And I was like, nah, bro, never. And he showed it to me and I'm still mind blown. It's an incredible app that focuses on being able to get output without having to contract a tutor or find a partner on HelloTalk. I was just using it today to get some speaking practice in French and I'm so impressed. The link for this app will be in the description. I really recommend that you try it. And my last tip is that you create your own phrase books. Personally, every time that I learn a language, when I'm studying whatever it is, I always have a notebook that I fill up with phrases and words that I want to remember. So for our easy study method, when I say easy, I don't, I mean that the tasks themselves are easy. They're not difficult. However, the most important part is consistency. That's the hardest part of learning a language. Maybe you've noticed that already. But if you are consistent, you will learn English. I promise you that. So let's go over the study plan that I want to give you. This will be for an hour a day, but if you can only do 30 minutes, just break all of these times in half, okay? So there's two types of days. The first type is going to look like this. Spend 15 minutes listening to music and reading the lyrics. Then spend 15 minutes of using an app like Busu, Duolingo, or JumpSpeak. Then spend 15 minutes listening to English comprehensible input. After that, finish your day off with 15 minutes of journaling. And for the second type of day, it's going to look like this. Spend 15 minutes reviewing phrases from a phrase book or another app called Close Master. That's a good one. Then spend 15 minutes listening to music and reading the lyrics. Then spend 15 minutes of reading, whether that's a book, online stories or articles, and then end it off with 15 minutes of English comprehensible input. Now these days will switch back and forth. So Monday will be a type one day. Tuesday will be type two, Wednesday will be type one, Thursday will be type two, and so on. If you would like to challenge yourself to following this plan, the link to the PDF will be in the description. Again, 100% free, just for you. And like I said, if you want to get the flashcards and transcript for every video that I make, go in the link in the description that says buymeacoffee.com and sign up to become a member. It not only supports me as a person and this channel, it will really help you to understand these videos better. I'm so happy that you made it all the way to the end of this video. That really shows that you are serious about learning English. So I'm very proud to have you here on our channel. Have a wonderful day, friend. Goodbye.